Hi, welcome to What's Up With That. Today, we're going to be doing a book review for the fourth book that I've read in the Battle of the Book series, Stella by Starlight. It's by Sharon M. Draper. And in this book, it's about Stella, who lives in the segregated South. She's black and lives with her brother Jojo and, and her parents. And she... This book takes place like in the night in 1932, and a lot. I think this book is a lot of uh, about how black people were not treated correctly a while ago, and this it takes place in Bumblebee, North Carolina, and so it's actually a pretty good book. And so Stella, she wa she likes to write. She goes out at night, which is why it's called Stella by Starlight. And one time when she's going out. Um, she notices, she sees the Ku, Ku Klux Klan, um, burning a cross outside her backyard, and all of the parents, all of the pe parents in that neighborhood gather together because they're very worried, and later, the Ku Klux Klan comes, and they burn down, um, these people, they're, they burn down their house, and so, yeah, there's pretty pretty intense actually like they burnt the entire house down and the and luckily those people had like people donated to them to give them stuff to rebuild a new house but it's scary how powerful the clan was and how like they just tried they did, did all these bad things and in this book there is i like how it's got a lot of scenes Oh, it's got oh, it's got a lot of characters. That's one thing I like about it. There's all these different families, and they all work together to put out the fire, and they all work together in everything that they do. And I thought that was one of the cooler qualities of this book. And this book ends um, towards the end. Um, uh, Stella's mom is bitten by a snake, and she tries to Stella gets Doctor Packard. To, he's a white doctor, and so she tries to get him, because he's the best doctor, to, um, to help her mom, and he doesn't come. He doesn't come. He doesn't do it. And, and it's such a jerky thing to do, which is why this is a great book, because it in, invokes such a, those feelings. I'm going to say four stars, and I hope you read this book sometimes. It's my fourth Battle of the Books book, and bye.